Thanks for joining us at the AI for Good Global Summit 2024, where I'm delighted to be joined by Ken Ishiro Natsume. Ken is Assistant Director General at the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO. Thank you so much for joining us, Ken. Thank you very much uh, for having me for this interview. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here. Well, it's an absolute pleasure. The AI for Good Global Summit, led by ITU with over mm -hmm. 40 UN agencies uh, represents a unique cross-section of key stakeholders from the public and the private sector. So what are your thoughts on how these various stakeholders can collaborate to use AI for good? Thank you very much for the question. I think this is a very valid question and it's very important for us to think about more global and inclusive uh, approach because now the issue is not only for one particular company or some big companies. This is the issue for the, all the relevant stakeholders all over the world, not to the developed countries, but to the developing countries and least developed countries. So in that sense, I believe that United Nations has a pivotal role to play because it has the inclusivity and it has a wide coverage of the uh, different stakeholders. So this is a very good opportunity for to us to get together, to collect our knowledge and experience so that we can move forward to the right direction as a collective manner. And from your perspective, how can AI be used to address specific global challenges? And there are so many, what with poverty, hunger, health, education. So how can we use this emerging and very powerful technology to help deliver the mm. SDGs? Thank you very much for the question. That's, that's also a very relevant question. But I think AI can be very powerful and be utilizable uh, for all kinds of different fields poverty, health, and climate change. Let me pick up an example of the health issue because uh, since I'm from WIPO, which is in charge of intellectual property, with some innovation flavor. So the example is from Sri Lanka, not from US or Europe, Sri Lanka, the company called Gendo Innovation, who developed a system with a tiny uh, clip to be attached to the finger to collect the data of the uh, medical information, such as blood, flowing, uh, oxygen density, temperature, all kinds of things. Based on that uh, data, using the AI technology, the system can analyze and provide you with the probability of having heart disease, diabetes, or kidney disease in the upcoming 10 years. And even it can give you some advice for the lifestyle. And they patented that all over the world. So it can also benefit the company and it can contribute to the growth of the country. Thank you. So huge potential. Absolutely, especially for emerging economies. Yeah. It needs to absolutely. be accessible to absolutely everyone yeah. out there. We know that AI and Gen AI in particular is raising lots of questions when it comes to intellectual property. Mm -hmm. So from your perspective at WIPO, what new criteria or frameworks are needed to evaluate and curate art created with the aid of AI? Thank you very much for the very interesting question because this is one of the hardest issues to be uh, discussed under everybody. And from the whiteboard perspective, probably the, the question is about copyright. And uh, what I want to mention is that two points. One, we have been seeing technological changes or revolution or innovation in our human history, not only once, many times. And we have gone through that. And intellectual property system has been there for more than 500 years. And this has been continued to put human creativity and innovation at the center of the system. And this is, I believe this is still valid even current AI era. So the creativity, which is driven by the human and human activity should be protected by the intellectual property, and this is the same as before. And uh, we continue to be relevant for the uh, system. Of course, I understand that there is a, that we should strike the balance between the developers of the artificial intelligence and also the owner or the creators, because there are some discussions between them and there are many court cases already. So we have to have a strike balance, but as far as the intellectual property system itself is concerned, I believe that we are still valid and relevant to incentivize human creators for their human activities. Ken, thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. That was Ken Ishiro Natsume, Assistant Director General at the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO. Thank you for watching.